We begin at 6 with a Hampton man in jail tonight accused in his teenage son's death. Police picked him up this afternoon and 10 on your side was the only crew on the scene to record these pictures of Anthony Brooks shortly after he was arrested. Police charged Brooks with child neglect and 10 on your side's Liz Palka has been talking to detectives all day about this case. Liz? Tom, we're still digging for more information. Hampton police are too. They won't release how the child died yet, but they do believe dad Anthony Brooks played a role. It's been a week since 14-year-old Antonio Brooks was found dead here inside his father's home on Teach Street in Hampton. Police have been looking for dad Anthony Brooks since Friday. They picked him up in Newport News around 2 this afternoon. 10 on your side, the only crew there as he was brought into the police department. Mr. Brooks, is there anything we can ask you about your son Antonio's You're death? Way, police believe this is a case of child neglect. Other kids, Antonio's siblings, were all in the home too, although police won't say how the kids are doing. Child Protective Services felt the need, felt it was necessary to remove those children from the residence as this is an ongoing incident. And those remaining children are in the custody of uh, child protective services right now. I never seen the kids not outside playing or nothing. Some neighbors didn't even know there were kids living there, except for the few times they've seen them walking back and forth from the school bus stop. I see there's one little boy special needs. To, he gets off the bus in the evenings, but as far as knowing the kids, no, I can't say that I've ever had any conversation with any of the kids. And every neighbor 10 on your side spoke to on Teach Street said the same thing. When they did see the dad, he rarely spoke to anyone. Being at the next door, you never know what's going on. No word yet on a first appearance for Brooks, and no paperwork had been filed in court as of his arrest. We're staying on top of this story, and we'll be following any developments with Brooks and this case. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.